What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to test your voltage regulator to see if it's bad. On an old externally regulated vehicle like mine, the voltage regulator tells the alternator whether or not to turn on and sends it the initial zap to get the uh, charging going so it's not just spinning and doing nothing. If you're watching this video, your vehicle probably doesn't start. The first thing you want to do is put a jumper on it and get it started. Now remove the jumper. You should be putting out 13 and a half volts. The first thing you want to do is make sure your belt is nice and tight. This one is. Next, you want to test the alternator. Put the positive poker here and the negative on the body or there. You should be getting 13 and a half, 14 volts, but we aren't which means our alternator isn't getting turned on. So, how could that be? The voltage regulator. Unplug the voltage reg and see if you're getting 12 volts here. We are. Now try the brown wire, which should give 12 volts when the key is on. It's good as well, because nothing gives 12 volts right now because they're not charged. You see? So now what you want to do is don't do this for more than for more time than it is necessary to test because it can overcharge and harm your electrical system. But you want to get a little jumper wire like this and take it from the red wire so it goes to your alternator and to the blue wire, which gives the information your voltage regulator is supposed to, to your alternator. So essentially, you're bypassing the voltage regulator and letting the alternator run free. So doing this will show you that your alternator is in fact charging. It's the voltage regulator that's the problem. Now let's see what jumping the blue and red wires and bypassing the voltage regulator gives us. There's our current voltage. Alternator is not turned on. It's not excited. Bypassing. Alright, now we're bypassing. Boom! The alternator works. Don't do that for longer than longer than you need to to get a reading. So now we know if the alternator works when it's given the right information, the voltage regulator is just not relaying that information, so it's time to replace that. On this truck, it's only $17. On more modern vehicles, it's in the alternator, so you're going to have to replace that too.